youtube.com forward slash Lord. Subscribe to the channel for gaming news, updates, discussion, and live streams. Signing off. Hey guys, this is Mugen Lord here, and I'm back again with another video. Now this video is pretty much a channel update and to me I think this video out of all videos is very very important because this is pretty much me laying down what I'm going to do from here on out uh, leading all the way up to January 2020. Now if you guys checked out my previous video from last week when I updated you guys with my YouTube channel about how my subscribers haven't been receiving my notifications, the YouTube been unsubscribing people from my channel and it's just been a whole lot of things and issues going on with YouTube in general on this platform well I wanted to continue this is because things are getting quite serious now like I said before this organization named Copa C-O-P-P-A um, they pretty much been around since 1998 this is pretty much an organization that want to protect children from online and stop um, the internet from collecting their data from different businesses different advertisements and stuff and have their internet sold off throughout the internet now what's been going on is youtube has been in trouble with the ftc and they have been in trouble with copa for the simple fact is now now that youtube and google are pretty much together one company um there was a rule that youtube had to follow and google had to follow is the fact is that if you're uh, under 13 years old you pretty much really not allowed to have uh, a google account or pretty much a YouTube account and what happens is what's been going on YouTube of course and I think this has a lot to more so do with parenting and whatever that children makes their own YouTube channels and not only the children make their own YouTube ch channel children have also of course will use their parents ch uh, channel as well in order to access you know content and everything and a lot of the content or the content that children may find may not be suited towards them not suited towards children at all and also they're being exposed to ads and not only that YouTube has also given children who have their own YouTube channel uh, deals as far as ads are concerned and stuff like that so the FTC and Copa they realized that YouTube hasn't haven't been following the rules and since then they had sued or they took them to court and sued them around September and now uh, we are finally receiving the information and what's going on from here on out they sued I believe YouTube for uh, I think 170 million um, and YouTube had pretty much lost the settlement and everything so uh, what's going on now is that YouTube is now they don't want to get sued no more they don't want to get sued for any of the controversy or any of the content that's being uploaded on YouTube and everything. Now, Koopa, Copa is pretty much being serious and the center stepping your foot down. We have a variety of tools at our disposal to cull through those 23 million channels and, and, and in an expeditious way. So when we talk about aggressiveness, we are typically talking about civil penalties. Not only can we sue Google and YouTube for compliance with COPPA, but also individual channel owners and content creators so youtube have recently put up some information regarding how they're going to make these big major changes here on this platform and they specifically said more importantly it stuck out to me the most is that they're no longer going, they're no longer going to be responsible um for what happens on this platform you know when it comes to us as content creators when we upload this content because i guess you know for years when things go down on YouTube, YouTube takes the brunt of it. Now they're taking the, they're passing the buck on to us. Now they're putting the responsibility on us as content creators to determine whether or not our content is child friendly or not. If you don't set your content appropriately, this may result in compliance issues for you under COPPA and other laws. Ultimately, we can't provide legal advice. Be sure to consult a lawyer if you have questions. Talk to a lawyer if you're still unsure whether or not your content should be marked as made for kids. Now, at first, when I first thought about this, they said it's going to put out a notification. They're going to put up a new uploading system to where every time you upload a video, you have to click the tick mark whether or not that your content is, is geared towards children. Now, they put these very vague rules up about how how can you determine if your channel is ch children friendly or if your video is children friendly and it's very very vague and everything and this is really hard is because if you're 
a gaming channel and everything you talk about video games and there's a lot of video games out there especially we cover nintendo games or all kinds of other games and everything and they sent out this notification which i received and they told me uh to tick whether or not that i want to do each individual videos to determine whether or not they're children friendly or not or if my entire channel is children friendly or not so i was like okay this this may be easier than i thought so i clicked the check mark saying that no my child my channel is no we're near children friendly at all so after i checked that mark i thought i was pretty much done with it now later on more youtubers begin to talk about it and i started looking more into this and everything and i just discovered that even though that i click the check mark and say that my channel is not geared towards children that is still copa can still decide whether or not by looking at your channel or looking at your content whether or not that your channel is geared or the video is geared towards children or not and they can and the thing is they're using everything based off of, based off of technicality like for instance i said it before like my channel we discuss a lot of topics my, my i'm a gaming channel and everything but we do talk about a lot of things that goes on you know in gaming as far as the you know the social political movements that's been going on as far as you know you know uh feminism and you know this whole thing about toxic masculinity and you know the outrage culture cancel culture you know sjw's we talk about a lot of lot of topics uh, and and everything and we talk about the you know you know the whole issue with this sexual you know objectification of women and video games and all this other kind of stuff and i always voice my opinions on this and give my opinions and my opinions is aren't really popular opinions because it's normally against cancel cultures against this whole sjw woke you know movement that's been going on and stuff like that so we talk about a lot of these issues especially in my videos and we also talk about them in my live streams so i already know for a fact that and especially especially when i cover you know games like mortal Kombat and the games that have a lot of violence and cover games like dead or alive you know six and everything so i already know for a fact that my channel is not really directed towards children but for the simple fact that i i play super smash brothers or i cover super smash brothers or i cover mario odyssey or any other game that maybe or like pokemon for instance um those things are ge geared towards children now even though this stuff is geared towards children i may say things or give my opinions or even say curse words or whatever in that video and clearly the, the video is not really geared for children but for the fact is that if there's pokemon in the video they can decide what they can decide say hey no this is actually meant for children and i can get struck with a fine so the thing is copa is really cracking down on it and pretty much telling us that yeah we can find your ass for up to over forty two thousand dollars per video so the thing is i'm i'm kind of like in a tight spot is because i'm a gaming channel i cover a lot of things and the thing is just because i hit the check mark or i hit the tick mark saying that my channel is not geared towards children for the simple fact is if i ever talk about a particular game or show some footage that seems from a you know from a a different perspective from their perspective they see that hey no this is actually directed towards children they can find me for it and youtube is also saying as well is that if a channel is not financially viable or is not making them any money they can just terminate a person's channel a content creator's channel so that means my youtube channel can just go whenever they feel like it and i'm i don't know what to do anymore when as far as youtube i'm i'm really getting you know tired of it i'm really getting frustrated with it um like i said i work very hard to make the content that i make for you guys to be able to enjoy and it's the fact is that youtube is cutting you know my viewerships um, it's not letting people even though they hit the bell people are not getting my videos You know, they unsubscribing people from my channel and everything So it seems like I'm doing a lot of hard work and I'm putting a lot of effort in editing writing scripts and everything And then none of it is going to you guys to be able to enjoy and it's kind of discouraging, you know and it seems like I don't know what to do So there's a lot of you guys in my previous videos telling me to try a bit you so I figured that, hey, this is what I want to do. I figured that this week, um, I'm not going to upload as many videos. I may not even upload any videos at all this week. I will stream this week, though, to make up for it so you guys will be able to 
see me almost every day this week um, on live stream so we can have a good time and everything but I was thinking that maybe it's time for me to start making a backup channel or go somewhere else and start backing up a lot of my content so just in case YouTube gets a little gets start to get funny on me I can just pretty much uh, jump ship over to my backup and you guys can follow me there if you're interested so um, this week I am definitely working on the bit shoot account um, and I will make a follow-up video to let you guys know that I have content over there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double upload I'm gonna upload the same content whenever I upload on YouTube that same video is gonna go over to bit shoot so you can guys can choose where you want to go um, see my content I'll have backups there and um, that's what I'm definitely go going to do I think it's about time that I should start um, you know uh, putting my eggs in different baskets instead of just relying on one um as far as money and monetization is concerned i know a lot of youtubers who make money on here and profit off of here i can see a lot of i can see a lot of them panicking a lot um the thing is i'm not really making money on this platform i mean every once in a while i make a, i may make a hundred dollars here and there here or there or whatever but like I said, most my bread and butter and the way I make a living is not on YouTube itself. It's in other avenues. Like I said, I create 3D hentai and I, I have a, a multimedia studio and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good for myself. So as far as money is concerned and making money on YouTube, I never had to rely on YouTube. To me, what's more important is just me getting my content out there. You know, because I do want to expand. I always thought of Mugen TV as something as to go mainstream go mainstream I always wanted to go mainstream like how IGN became its own thing and how GameSpot and how Game Explain and and everything like that I want I want Mugen TV to be something like that I I, I wanted to just be this big gaming network and eventually go cross over to gaming journalism and 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 all kinds of other things i want to be able to travel the world and meet different developers and and, and get you know uh exclusive interviews and stuff like that i think that would be pretty cool that's always been my dream to do something like that have my passion just taking a step farther i love gaming and everything but it seemed like I have to go out there and get that exposure, you know, and YouTube is not doing that. It's like YouTube is just shutting down every avenue uh, for my content to be spreaded, you know, across uh, the, the board and everything. So I'm definitely going to go to bit shoot. That's what I'm definitely going to do. Um, a matter of fact, I'm working on, I'm open. I just started an account earlier today, so I'm going to start uploading videos and everything and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick and choose what videos I'm gonna put on there I'm gonna try to organize it the best way I can with my game reviews my unboxings um, the FGC locals I've been uh, that I went to in the past like summer jam and uh, go for broke and a couple other places I've been to um, and game developer interviews that I, I've been through um, as well and also some of the FGC members like Chris G that I've met and I met um, Grimmer from uh, from VG Bootcamp and a few other people, so I'm putting those things on there because I I think this is a is a perfect chance to start rebooting and start taking Mugen TV to a whole another direction. Then I'm also going to focus on my podcast uh, with my brother Keel Lancer and my other brother DX Strike. So um, I think this is something. This could be a blessing in disguise. Like who knows where um, this may go. And all I ask is if if you guys join me on this new adventure and like i said youtube is still my main platform it's just that bit shoot is definitely going to be uh my backup i'm gonna i'll be uploading in double places so you'll be able to find the content on bit shoot and find it on youtube um it's just that the risk right now on youtube is just so great um right now to the point where a lot of people don't want to take that risk um there's already youtubers and quite a few youtubers right now who's already uh, planning to jump ship and go somewhere else or just wanting to quit content create um, content creation all together and it would psych me out about this is you can't go to youtube for consulting the, the, for them you can't go to the them and ask them to check out your channel and let them determine whether or not your your channel is kid friendly or not what they told us is if you want to know you have to get yourself a lawyer to find out so so you know how expensive that is to get a lawyer to determine whether or not your channel or not even just your channel but just each video that you upload that's ridiculous and and to me in my opinion this is another way for youtube to pretty much start cleaning out 
I think YouTube is pretty much trying to get away from the whole you in YouTube. I really believe that's what they're trying to do as well. Um, they they really want to make this platform into something totally different. They want to make this a, like a, a Netflix or like a Hulu or whatever. You know, you got your YouTube Red. Um, you you also can rent movies on YouTube and everything like that. And then you have your they already have their big YouTubers here on this platform that's making the money. And then, like I said, they home growing their own YouTubers at, as well. They already planting YouTubers in here, artificial YouTubers, and they subscribe. They making people subscribe to these YouTubers. These are YouTubers that they can control and to pretty much have them do whatever they want them to do or have whatever political or whatever views that they want them to have here on this platform so i think this is what's going on they're going to make a clean slate they want to start cleaning out house and they believe it or not they really don't want to pay people they don't want to pay youtubers it's youtube like youtube google themselves is not really profiting off of youtube this stuff costs youtube costs a lot of money to run and they have to deal with lawsuits and everything and and stuff like that so they really want to start chopping things off start getting rid of people if you're not making no money and you're not financially viable to them start cutting people off and you know start cutting off these losses and then keep what keep the youtubers and keep the fat you know, trim off the fat and keep what's left that's all that are uh that's making youtube money and, and and it's profitable for them so that's what they're pretty much going to do from here on out so i believe if you had a hundred thousand subscribers or higher um i think you know um you still have to, a lot to worry about is financially especially if you making money off of it but i believe as far as them wanting to get rid of you i don't think you have to worry too much about that because you pretty much made it in the clear with youtube especially if you in the five hundred thousand the four hundred thousand or five hundred thousand the higher mark um, you're already in the clear. I think YouTube won't really touch you or harm you as much at all because you you're a proven oiled machine that works. That people come to you, um, you make them money, you make you make money in return as well. So I don't really think that you have that many thing problems to worry about of you going anywhere from YouTube. Um, but I think a lot of other people like myself who only has eleven thousand three hundred plus. Uh, subscribers would have to you know have to worry about whether or not my channel is financially viable to them and they can decide whether or not that yeah, hey you know Mugen Lord you know it was nice even though you were here from the very beginning on YouTube but we appreciate it you know your time being here but we want to have to let you go um, for the fact is that you're not you know financially viable to us anymore so I have to have a backup ready and that's definitely what I want to do um, here on out because January 2020 is going to be a whole nother type of environment here on YouTube. So I just want to let you guys know um, where I'm going and how I'm going to do this. But um, this week I'm only going I'll be doing more streaming um, than actually uploading videos this week because most of my most of my time is going to be me getting everything together for bit shoot i gotta make a bunch of playlists of how i'm gonna you know when i upload these videos and stuff and i want to organize my videos in a particular way of how i want to present um Mugen tv from um here on out so i appreciate it if you guys uh join me on this new adventure and um if you like this video uh, it's really really important i want to hear your thoughts on this because this really really means a lot to me um you know as far as being a content creator and and as far as me wanting to take moving tv to um a whole new um level um you know in my life and just in in general here on the internet and i definitely want to hear your thoughts on that so if you like the video please please uh pass the video around let everybody know please this is no joke um let everybody know what's going on with moving lord and moving tv and just my future here on youtube and everything let everybody know pass it around share it and if you know any other youtubers going through the same thing let me know in the comment section below where, where, are, their, where are their what are their plans what are they going to how are they going to approach this how are they going to go about it and everything i definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below and also if you like this video or you want to hear more news um or, uh, about youtube politics and everything as well um make sure you hit the bell to be notified this is Mugen lord sign off See you game fiends later. Peace out. It looks like you reached the end of the video. Well, while you're at it, check out some of my other discussion videos by clicking on the annotations below. And don't forget to follow me on other social media platforms to stay up to date with future content. Signing off.